Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wonky, and I'm back with another Fake Grand Order video. Today to talk about the fact that finally, Skullfest is on the way. That's the, the way I choose to call it. Don't call it by the other way, the only villains do that. Uh, the Land of Shadows Battleground Blitz. So that's going to be today's video. I'm going to go rolling all over the event, the specific summon showcase, and some of the stuff behind it. This is a Lotto Grind event, so it's very important to do Lotto Grinding. If you just want a one-stop all place to grind QP and certain materials, it's great for that. So that's going to be today's video. Hope you like it. If you do, feel free to leave a like, comment down below, tell me how you plan to handle the event, and subscribe to me if you want some more videos featuring me. So let's go. So this is what it's called in the US, Land of Shadows Battleground Blitz. Um, starts the 22nd and goes until September 4th. And here we go, and it, it was called a dance tournament in the Land of Shadows, which is a very different name. <laughs> the Holy Grail War between the bunny and the cat. And a cat, a bunny, and a Holy Grail War. So there we go. So this is where we get uh, Scott Hawk's bunny costume. This is also where in Japan they got the animation update, but we already have that, so you just get the bunny costume. So enough reason to summon right there. And also the actual person on the banner is, of course, Scott Hawk, along with Fia McCool, and the Artemud, and Tomo Cat. Uh, this banner is a little bit weird on oh, the seas as well. Um, None of the CEs really stand out to me in any way. This is kind of nice, but I would assume if you can get it max unbound, um, it'd be extremely nice for quick stuff. <laughs> for quick beebs. Other than that, I think Skahawk is a very good um, single target. She's she's designed old, but she's reliable as someone who uses her a whole has used her a whole bunch on specific challenge quests and anything that is a solo boss fight. She's extremely good. She's extremely worth having, so if you don't have her and you're trying to go for her, I wish you the best of luck. She's definitely worth it, especially with the bunny outfit now. Uh, Saber, I actually don't know that much about. Oh, one moment. Sorry about that, cat was bugging. Uh, Finn McCool, he's very good, especially in the new arts meta that we're currently in on NA. He's probably very heavily underrated. A lot of people think he's still bad as a joke, but no, the actual joke is, is that he's actually extremely good. It's just like no one wants to use him for whatever reason, uh, because he was bad when he first released. And Tomomo Cat, I really like. This is my, I think, my favorite form of Tomomo. He's still a cat. So there you go. Wish the best of luck. There's no reason for me to summon. I already have her MP2. I'm pretty sure he's MP5 for me. I don't have him, but not top priority for me because he's a quick single target servant, I think. Let me double check on that real quick. Yep, single target, one enemy, ten hits, though. That's certainly something good. Uh, but yeah, in the time moment, I'm pretty sure it's MP4 for me, so I'll be skipping that part. In terms of events, it's, at a, it's a, a grill front which is a, basically a new type of battling for us in NA. Um, very interested to see how it kind of goes. As you can see here, it's got a setup and stuff like that. And you move characters across on a grid, and then you have them fight, and a lot of it is like single battles with servants. So different kinds of servants are actually good in this compared to um, the usual that are like good at like AOE farming and stuff like that. It's a little bit different how you approach this, so I don't know much about it. I'm looking forward to actually try and get for myself. But eventually if you get all the victories, you get seven grails, and it's pretty easy. As you can see here, this was how it was in Japan, but basically one a day, and we're good. In terms of the event bonuses, obviously this event C will give um, plus one drop of this specifically warrior's tag. We have the event award command code, which is everyone's Da Vinci Chan. When attacked with an engraved card, increase that party's MP damage by 8% for one turn. The Nautilus, when attacking with the engraved card, gain 2 crit stars and then remove 1 defensive buff on self. Mini Guchan, when attacking with the engraved card, remove one of the target's critical buffs, increase the engraved card's critical damage by 5%. And there we go. All servants will receive damage up permanent buff for the defense free quest. With lower rarity servants getting higher damage up bonuses. So if you're a 5 star, you only get 20%. If you are a 1 star, it's 50%. So pretty nice if you're a big fan of a unit who's on lower rarity and they can kind of go to town and stuff. Uh, updates. This is, of course, nothing for us. So yeah, in terms of the lottery, this is what's going to be in the lotto box. So basically, you in the lottery event, you grind a one specific material, and inside of a lotto box, you'll have a bunch of prizes in it. If you ever wondered, hey, how do you get, 
how do I specifically usually have so much QP? It's because I go crazy during lotto season and I open an insane amount of them. This is also the one good place, for example, this year's lotto is going to have a lot of bones, it's going to have a lot of feathers, and it has a lot of heroes proofs and infinity gears. So if you're missing any of those things, it's best to get as all the items inside of the lotto. In the beginning, the lotto is... It has, as you can see here, a grand prize, and you cannot reset the box until you fulfill the, until you obtain the grand prize. Usually, what I do is that even if I have the grand prize, I will still complete the box completely. But that's just me. Feel free to play however you want. If you don't have much time and you just want the grand prizes, then that's perfectly a valid way to play. Um, or if you're like me and you want to get everything, then feel free to go to your hearts and tents. But yeah. And then after the grand prize. After the 11th, they remove the grand prize, but you'll always get this stuff in here. Except I think the apples they take out eventually as well. Unless this one's just permanent apples? I don't see it here, but I assume the apples are gone after the 11th grand prize. At a certain point, they just give you bronze, I think. But we'll see when we get to this one. Um, and these little boars can, of course, be traded in for all the stuff here. Some pretty nice stuff. So... And then there's, of course, the basic grind event, like gold, silver coins, bronze coins, and they can get you stuff, which is nice. Um, I usually get whatever I want from here and then immediately go focusing into lotto grinding, because that's just the way I do it with lotto season. And yeah, that's basically the event. I'm looking forward to it. I've been looking forward to this Holy Grail front ever since it first kind of debuted on JP and I messed around with it a little bit. Um, also really looking forward to getting the bunny costume because it's very nice. Let me see if I can uh, look at it for a bit. And I think this is also when Scotty gets a buff as well. Yeah, there's the bunny costume right there, but... Eh. Updates. Yeah. Here's the update specifically to real quick. I may as well look at that update. So this is how the old skill was. It was a one turn 50% up to quick, and then after, and it was targetable to anyone, so that's why it only lasted one turn. But then after the buff, it increases one ally's quick performance for one turn, increases their buff success rate for three turns, and then increases their MP gauge by 20%. In most units, this would be kind of useless, but... <laughs> on Skahawk, it's actually extremely useful because she has her first skill has a chance of failing by 20%. So if you use her second skill first and you use it on her, it's 100% and you will always get these buffs. And these buffs are extremely good and you want to get them for her because it helps do a lot of damage. Especially within combination of fighting a divine or undead enemy, she just completely lays waste to them. So yeah, looking forward to this event big fan um and that's it and i don't have to summon so that also makes it pretty good in my eyes <laughs> when you don't have to summon on an event you feel even better but that's the end of the video everyone no get away from there that's the end of the video everyone thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one i wish you guys all the best of luck in summoning if you do even though the summon is not here until the 22nd but if you do plan to go for her i wish you the best of luck and I will see you guys in the next video. Please, for the love of God, fandom. Okay, there we go. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.